All right, uh, so I skipped ahead in the book on project uh, 259, and uh, it's an oscillator. And uh, the reason I like it is it actually uses a real circuit. Um, it uses transistors and capacitors and uh, things like that. So uh, this, is, this is how you're supposed to hook it up, which uh, is difficult to figure out what it is. So I went ahead and redrew the uh, schematic. I wish they would have done this in the kit. Um, this is the uh, this is the schematic here. There's a PMP transistor and an NPN transistor, and there's some biasing for the base over here. So there's a, a potentiometer. And uh, so if you turn this thing on, uh, if you have this bias, this uh, transistor turns on. If that transistor turns on, then this uh, would flow current in this direction. It would it would pull down, and it would pull current through the PNP, and then that current would go through the LED, and it would turn on. Usually, LEDs would have a load resistor, but since the plus V is only three volts, um, and there's a voltage drop across the uh, PNP transistor, you can get away with not having a load uh, load resistance across the uh, across the uh, LED. So uh, this is what uh, this is what it looks like put together. And if I turn the switch on here, you'll see the LED comes on. Okay. So that's not an oscillator; it just turns on. So um, in the book, there's this magic C3 capacitor that goes in a funny spot. Um, so let's take a look at the schematic again. So, where does the C3 resistor go? Let me, let me put this down so I can draw on it. All right. All right, it goes here. So it's a feedback uh, capacitor it goes from the output over here to the input. Uh, so um, it adds some delay. It it it, it adds uh, a way for this thing to oscillate. The thing moves up and down. So if we add that to the circuit. Here's our circuit, and we take our magic C3 and we put it put it right across here. Now, when we turn it on, you see the uh, see the LED is uh, flashing now. Let me uh, let me turn off the room light so you can see it better. There we go. So it's it's flashing now. And if I reach over here to the uh, slide, if I move it down in this direction, it goes flashes slow. And if I move it up, it flashes quicker and flashes quicker. So it is an oscillator. Um, I don't think the book does a very good job of teaching you electronics, uh, but it is a circuit that works. And if you're so inclined, you could draw your own schematic and try to figure out what's going on. I think, um, I think maybe there's uh, better ways to teach electronics with this kit. It certainly has all the components. Um, and it actually uh, actually has some nice circuits that you can build with just minimal minimal component count. But uh, yeah, this one is an oscillator.